Reproject one flannel shirt. This is so easy. I used a old plaid shirt that I think I had thrifted, just with some colors that I like. And you're gonna lay your shirt out. The back side is gonna have your biggest piece of fabric. So you're gonna take your your wooden frame here, and you're gonna cut out more than you think you need on the back side of it. So you're gonna lay that piece down on the outer ring, which is the bigger ring, kind of smooth it out, and then you're gonna take that inside ring and just press it down all the way until it hits the top of your table. Flip it over. Since we know it looked good on the top, pretty much even our stripes look good. We can go ahead and tighten the top and trim it down some more. And I had somehow or another gotten a little off track there, so I just straightened it out. Now I'm thinking of embellishments, what I want to go on here. And I think these little burlap and wooden leaves would look good. So I'm just kind of trying to get an idea of where I want to place them. Jupe twine across the top. You're just going to cut down the length enough to go across the front where you want it and to wrap around the sides. A little hot glue will hold that together. And this is what you have. I wanted to use some type of an attachment to make it look as though these leaves were hanging off. So I just loosely made a little knot. Don't want to tie it too tight because then it'll slip out the hole so that it looks like it is just kind of hanging from that twine. You can do that for each one of those. The two end pieces would be the same measurement basically. And then the one in the middle, it's going to be a little longer. want that one to hang down a bit. Just going to take a little bit of hot glue and tuck it underneath there. I guess I could have tied it on there, but you know, whatever works. Just put that one underneath and it all looks good. Now to keep it from slipping out, since the knots are a little bigger, I'm just putting a little dot of glue to hold the knot in place so that it won't slip back out of that, that original hole that was there. And there you have it. Pretty little, little wreath that you can hang up, a little decoration piece for fall. Next we're going to take another part of that shirt, a sleeve, a foam pumpkin from Dollar Tree, scissors and glue my little damaged I believe I got this one from Goodwill but it's a Dollar Tree pumpkin you want to trim enough that you have excess to tuck on the bottom and on the top so I just roughly measured it I have plenty of room there I'm going to take that stem out and make the the depression in the top a little bit deeper and then I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. I want to have an area where we can tuck the excess fabric. So I'm going to put that glue in there and then you can use any type of a stick, a pencil, a piece of floral, stem, whatever and just tuck those in in a kind of a circular motion. 
adding glue where you need to. Just give that a second. Flip it over and do the other side. So now we're working on the top. And I'm just gonna do the same process. Tucking a little, adding a little bit of glue, and tucking a little more. And there you have it, a cute little flannel plaid pumpkin. We'll match the wreath that we did. I'm gonna trim off that stem because it was too long to go in there at that point. And just hot glue it back on the top. Once that's done and you feel like your glue has dried, you can move on to any type of embellishment. You can use cattails, leaves, um, any floral that you think would match the fabric that you're using. So I'm just kind of showing you my thought process, checking it out. And I think we have a winner. Just trimming it down. Putting those pieces together with a little bit of hot glue and then gluing them onto the pumpkin. I'm going to take a piece of pipe cleaner, Chanel stem, and wrap it around a pencil to make the little curly vine part. You're just going to blend it, bend it in the middle and just shape it however you want to shape it. And then a little bit of glue and fix it to your leaves and your stem. as cute as can be. Now you're going to trim off for the last part just the cuff. As close as you can without cutting your seam on the cuff of the sleeve. I lost my footage so I'm showing you how I did it there. This is what you come out with. You're going to measure it against your water bottle and decide if you have a good fit. Mine was a women's small shirt so the sleeve cuff is too large, so we need to fix that. I'm just gonna cover up that buttonhole with the button because we're not gonna put it together with a button. We're gonna use some hook and loop or some Velcro, but we want it to look like it is put together correctly. So here are the sheets. You can pretty much get them anywhere. I think I got them from Dollar Tree, but I've had them a very long time. Make sure that you have the soft side and you have the prickly side. Otherwise, they're not going to stick together. So once you put these down, if you hold them into place and leave them for 24 hours, they're supposed to be a, a good firm hold. So um, the jury is still out on that. Now we're going to test it against our water bottle. And there we have it. Good fit. So there you go. There are three little projects with one flannel shirt. And I think they turned out pretty good.